And that gives me a fresh supply of bows. And then, <laughs> there goes the bidding war that was happening. <laughs> the melee guy is still in the back. I didn't have... Do I have a melee guy? Oh, I did have a melee guy. Well, what do you know about that? We got a pregnant muffalo too. Awesome. Also, this is now not looking very fine. So, Derebus is gonna have to go fix that at some point. Brink, name the new colonist Leoka? Yes, hell yes. That is exactly where I'm going. Um, let's do... Ba -doop -ba -doop -doo. Leoka? Oh, not General Leoka. Is that how you spell it? Yes, Leoka. And that will be our person who saves us from our dearth of research. Uh-oh. Yo, Salamander, what you up to? Oh, are you being tended to? Yes, Satan is coming in, so that's good. Um, oh, also infection. That's not particularly great. We will try out the amputation mechanic if it lends itself to an opportunity. Um, so that means that we need to put where is, is it cookies? No, it's Triax. Triax is the one who is the psycho scientist. Okay, so for Leoka, we need to go for research with a vengeance and basically only research because I have got to get to auto guns. I have got to get to auto guns or I am doomed. Do I have anyone on cleaning duty? I have cookies on cleaning duty, but he is still catching up on the bills for the stove. But he has caught up on his meal making, so that's fine. Come on, come on, and a hundred. All right, so we're good. Now, how exactly are you? Infection, minor infection in the right arm, 24% to 22%. So we just need to keep an eye on that and make sure that it comes out ahead. Oh, man. Things are looking up. Catastrophe incoming. <laughs> Gotta get the bit giver killed now? Possibly. Is that a steam vent I see? Most likely. The way that RimWorld works, raids and events are based off the colony worth. So when things go good, you get hit much harder. Yeah, I did notice that because, um... Ugh. Yeah, I know. Turrets are not the end all of, um... Are not the end all of defenses. I do know that. But they do drastically increase your chances when you have large raids incoming or even like random mad animals that come about because if something comes in that intends harm then like earlier where we had that whole situation with someone getting gored multiple times by a boar it would probably wouldn't have happened if i'd had multiple turrets out because i could have just run away close to one of the turrets and it would have been fine let's see a major infection that has as of yet not been treated why are you not treating him satan come and get on this prioritize tending please good sir although we may have to um we may have to amputate infection at 71 percent immunity at 65 percent if it gets to if it gets to 80 and if it gets to 85 and we haven't caught it yet, then we're going to amputate. Raids depend as well on the scenario and which storyteller he chose. I went with the standard storyteller. The standard storyteller is where it's at, yo. Okay, I see the severe illness. Um and I raise you and I am not concerned. 78% infection, 75% immunity. It is so close. 
so very, very close. We're within 2%. Like, it's gaining. It is gaining hard. I think it might outrun it. We're now within 1.5%. I would love to leave it with both arms intact. Because if you do that, then things tend to go better as far as work speed and whatnot. But, okay, the immunity has run, out, run past it. So it's fine. Chop it, chop it, chop it. <laughs> this may not be the day that we get an amputation, boys. We're at 94% immunity at 93% infection. So we're we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. You think? Immunity 90%. And developed immunity, boom! 94%, 93%. We're gonna be fine. See, no amputation necessary. All you gotta do is have a little faith. Okay. She also has that fixed ramp based on time as well as a multiplier by colony worth. Okay. I play Randy mostly. Cassandra is actually the hardest storyteller in vanilla. Ah. Oh. How long until bionics? If I was alive, that arm would have been gone into my pie's brain. Killer, you are disturbing, okay? That is, that is what you are. Well, compacted steel seems like a pretty good thing. We can take that. I still haven't mined this silver. The silver ore needs to go. Okay, so. We are now in a position where we have a dedicated researcher again, which is glorious as far as I'm concerned. Um, we have potentially the ability to recruit this person, although he is, oh, 61% difficulty to recruit. Okay, cool. Which means his stats probably aren't as good, but whatever. Excellent melee, artistic flair, cooking, construction, and medicine. I mean, he's got better, better doctor stats than anybody I have, because I think my highest one is four currently. So we can definitely make him a doctor. And we research beds. Hallelujah! We research beds, yo. Hallelujah! Um, let's go ahead and do machining, probably, to get some microelectronics. We can go machining, gunsmithing, blowback, gun turrets. I think is how we go. So speaking of researching, we still got two people heavily assigned to research. So that's cool. Um, we've got someone out mining, that's good. We don't have anyone sewing. Growing is going to be a big deal. Oh, Lioka's mining. Okay, that's fine. She can mine for a little while. Derebus is taking care of the growing. This meteor is like typical monkey lord use. In fact, <laughs> he forgot to... Oh, I forgot to confirm the research. There we go. <laughs> Gotta do the things properly. I see it. I see it. we need to get busy on is somebody to do the crafting so I think we're gonna do who has the highest crafting skill definitely Derebus definitely Derebus we don't have any construction going on right now um let's go to two on that let's go let's leave grow at one and plant cut at one and then crafting so should he get into a position where he has all of the fields planted then he can go work on this stuff and then we do have someone cooking meals constantly, so that's fine. Do I want to ramp up my meals? Let's ramp up the meals. Let's do 30 meals. 
and 125 pemmican because then we will have a pretty good store set up for if we do run into difficulties later on down the road. So I think that's a pretty good, pretty good idea. Oh, hello, milk. Um... Let's set Triax, I guess. Plant cutting and haul. Yeah, let's set Triax to handle so that he can get this milk before it spoils. No, wait, hold on. He can't haul, can he? No, he can't haul the milk. Okay. So if he does the tending, then that's fine. Brink, you need tailoring, not crafting. Oh. Correct, because I can deconstruct this. There we go. Excellent. So this field is fully planted. This field is not. I'm not sowing those two fields. And cotton probably don't need to allow either. Because I think we've got more cloth than we will ever use. So we're going to disallow sewing on both of those. I think that'll put us in a much better place. Milk takes a while to spoil without refrigeration. Okay. He has read... Has he read the small text in the work tab? I have an electric stove. The electric stove is right here. Small text in the work tab. Higher priority, lower priority. Oh. So they finish all tasks higher up the chain before they go lower in the chain. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I mean, that's that does let you prioritize things correctly. But there's only like one more field for Darabus to um, for Darabus to actually take care of, and then he can go into crafting. I just gotta make sure that this one gets planted and the potatoes get planted. Because otherwise, we're gonna get screwed later. Oh! Darabus upgraded! Snap! No, his growing is over nine. He learns quickly at it. He actually went from seven to nine in that time. Dude, Darabus is getting up to pro level here. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, so we're not we're not completely without medication anymore. This is good. That's why the work tab mod is so good. It actually fixes the borked priority system in vanilla. Okay. Yeah, from what I've heard, there are loads and loads of mods for this. I was kind of amazed to see how many people recommend, like, just putting tons of mods on it. So by the time you get done planning all this, it might actually be that the rice has grown. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's 52% grown already. Good lord. So we should probably put someone else on tailoring as well. Who has the most free time? Probably Triax, but he's bad at tailoring. Let's do... No. No, 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 no. Satan is also terrible at tailoring. Daggummit. Let's put... Um, let's put cookies on it. Because once the stovetop eventually does get caught up, we'll be okay. It's almost there now. So 27 out of 30 meals. That'll all be set. Aurora lights up the sky, the undulating colors, boost the mood of anyone outside to see them, and make the night brighter. That's a good thing. 6.5 hours of streaming and you finally researched beds and then totally forgot to even build them because reasons and stuff and things. <laughs> oh, that was a short Aurora. Screw that. 
breakdown of the cooler. We will fix that shortly. Okay, so we got beds everywhere. Excellente! Should give us a pretty good spot. Who is our mastermind at construction? That would definitely be Derebus as well. So let's key up on construct there. The more they do within a category, the better they get. So if you put a zero intellect, eventually they get to the highest number. Yeah, and it also has to do with the flame beside it, because I'm pretty sure one flame, they gain faster skill at it, and then two flames, they gain joy from it, or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. Or maybe it's just greater degrees of the thing. Oh. Oh my. Um, we have hit peak blocked by an oak tree. Satan, how about you go chop this wood down? Prioritize cutting that oak tree. And then we may need to start one more generator. Oh, that actually brings up, we're out of wood. We are out of wood completely. There we go. All right, so we can add another, we can add another generator and it'll be fine. But for right now, we are going to end up with, um, we are going to end up with a power stall. Power stall, perpetual power stall. No matter what I play, no matter where I go, it will always be a power stall because reasons and stuff and things. Okay. We can get that set up. We got plenty of wood to come out this away, and the rest of this I think will take care of itself. We're in a pretty good spot. Just gotta finish that research, yo. Um, Satan, what are you doing? Let's put you on plant cutting, because I think that is where we need you right now. Too bad you can't haul anything. We just need to leave Leoka on the uh, researching, because that is what she's best at. Also, how is your... Oh, your intellect has risen to a six. Nice. Very nice. Should have worn something to protect yourself from the flying wood chips. Watch me hurt myself cutting down the tree, says Satan. That's fine. I've never seen anyone harmed by a falling tree. It just spawns wood. I mean, that would be a special kind of demented where there's like a 0.01% chance that in chopping down a tree, you just spontaneously die because the tree fell on you. That would just be, that would just be rude. <laughs> Are we not recruiting Salamander? I thought I set him to recruit. Oh, crap. Actually... Okay, we can deconstruct all of those. You guys will be medical. And the rest of these are all open for the claiming. And we get cloth back from that. Excellent. Let's prioritize refueling the generator because otherwise we're gonna go dark again tonight. There we go. Now we can slowly start charging our batteries back up. Wait a minute. Is that really how slow that is? At a thousand watts output. Oh, these are very low as well. Okay, okay. 
Ah, <sighs> first day on the job as a tree surgeon. A friend of mine cutting a died cutting a tree down. Not even kidding. It it is not unheard of. Like it, I can completely understand it. I've taken a couple trees down before, and like that's the number one thing that you're always paranoid about is you get the hell away from the tree and you make sure that you're cutting it down properly and that you're felling it in the direction that you need to, yada, 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 which I'm sure that most people are somewhat aware of how that goes, but it is so easy for a terrible accident, accident to happen doing something like that. It really is. All right, so we're at a higher level of output now but it's fluctuating, so it's gonna take us a while to get the batteries charged back up. It was a direction issue. Apparently he stood in the wrong place. That is a shame. Okay, so we've got short bow and two people with knives coming in from the north. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna draft everybody, except for Satan, of course. And we're gonna come here. And Satan, we're gonna draft and he's gonna hide behind the iron right over here. Oh crap, that's bad placement. Um, redo, redo, crap. No, it's not good. It's not good. Come on, get in, 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 get in. Come on, you can do this. Melee it out. Run back, hide behind the sandbags, and the other person is leading, so that's good. Um, downs and dead. Do we have, let us put, um, we got two unowned. Let's make this one into a prisoner. We're set there and only one person got mildly messed up so that's fine okay cool we are set and ready to go storyteller keeps going easy on you lumberjacking is hilariously dangerous it is but not as much as you might think, especially when you're able to use proper equipment, but still, even when you're using proper equipment, if you're not cautious enough, you will absolutely get trashed. Okay, so we'll try to get her in. Um, Lyoka, how about you do me a massive favor and bury him? And then we do have a problem with blood creeping back up. So, cookies. How about we... Yeah, this is a pain because we're not really able... Eh. Okay, just a stab wound. It's fine. Darabus, where are you at, yo? Prioritize refueling the generator. Because at this point, we are not in good condition. With two, we cannot run it. We've either got to make another wind turbine or another power plant, I think. Because we have got no leeway in the batteries whatsoever. Have a dedicated hauler and cleaner. See, that's the problem is that I have so few people right now that it's not working out that way. Um... I guess what we should do, I don't know. The problem is that Triax is not really good for anything, is what's really boogering this up. He's bad at cooking, he's bad at constructing, he's bad at mining, he's bad at tailoring, smithing, art, and crafting. He can haul and he can plant cut. Like that's pretty much it. So I guess, I guess what we can do is maybe hmm. 
Satan is also an issue. Let's go to cleaning with Satan. And hopefully that'll put him where he's cleaning everything out. Cookies is actually making some clothing, so that's cool. Making pants. Perhaps prioritize refueling the generator so that we don't lose power again. That would be lovely. Because we don't need to lose our cooling. As the temperature slowly climbs upwards, I'm sure. Oh no, it actually cuts out the lights before it cuts off the temps. So that's good. That is good. <sighs> At least Triax is a good source of body parts. <laughs> Have I mentioned before that I'm a master of failure? <laughs> All right, so we have a mad rat. And as scary as that sounds, actually, that doesn't sound very scary. Um, let's go doorway. We've got about 10 more minutes I'm gonna play. And then I'm out of here, I think. We can put a doorway in there, and then in the morning we can recruit some people's and use them to get things done. I wonder why they didn't remark as medical after they got moved. That's kind of lame. Okay, where is this rat? Where did this rat go? Here, ratty, ratty, ratty. There you are. Okay, Darabus and cookies you two we're gonna draft and come right out here come on little rat get over here <laughs> get him kill the rat kill the rat there we go <laughs> that was a whole lot of hullabaloo about not much at all uh, what surprises me most is that brink hasn't had an infestation with all of the area that he's dug out infestation that makes me very nervous very nervous about oh my there's infestations allow me to put up a steel door ah laboratory retrievers have joined labrador retrievers um, let's go for that zone is connected through there though that means that they could potentially set something in the doorway Ugh. so animales what you doing bro Sammy the Labrador let's uh, let's train all of our pets shall we and they are all unrestricted which is fine what can I train? I wonder what I can train a raccoon for. Release to attack and obedience. <laughs> Watch out for the rabbit attack raccoons, man. They might get you. Insulation infestation can spawn in any area that has a thick rock roof. They are bioengineered bugs that replicate fast and can murder a colony in minutes. Oh, good lord. Yeah, Satan is just gonna be like the dog master that bonds to all of the animals and can sick this massive pack of wolves on people. And it ends up being horrific for everyone involved. So, I'm thinking kind of about having a hauling party, to be honest. Because I got all this stuff out here that's deteriorating. Let's go, um... Hmm. I wish I could just, like, select a task for everyone to focus on. And not have to redo my entire setup. That's annoying as all hell. Okay, so we're going to do that with Triax, and hopefully he will literally only haul. Because I think that's what I got to do to clear out the fields, because otherwise I'm going to have a bunch of stuff going bad. 
Do 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 do. I can actually deconstruct that and that because we've got regular old lamps in there all over the place. Okay, Triax, what are you doing? Refueling a torch lamp? You should prioritize hauling the cloth because the cloth is deteriorating. A raccoon got food poisoning from the pemmican. <laughs> Manhunting chickens? Is this Zelda? What is this madness? Oh my goodness. Okay, so this could be a problem for sure. Let's let's gather up all of our um, all of our draftable peoples and go hide in the bunker. Satan, we're gonna draft as well and come here. Ready at the door. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come out. Okay. Melee person is in front. We're fine. We're fine. Hide from the chickens! Hide for your lives! <laughs> yeah, manhunting boomalope pack would be horrifying, to say the least. Okay, so we barely are going to need treatment. There's just gonna be bunches of chickens out here. And they die pretty dang easily. And I say that as Triax proceeds to get pecked to death. Come on, Triax. Come on. Come on. You got this. What are you doing? You're fixing the things? Prioritize hauling the roosters, please. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right, so that gives us an excellent meat supply for later. Lots and lots of chickens. Good, good, good. Can refuel all of the lamps. And get to carrying on everything else, so that's good. Ba -da -ba. And a new recruit, Snap, successfully recruited Salamander. Okay, uh, Salamander, what are your skill sets? Um, ten melee. Oh, we looked at this guy before. He's got a decent doctor's setup. Okay, so we're going to put you to work doing the hauling because that is what we need right now. Uh, so hauling is your number one priority, along with getting all of your stuff in order. Brink, there was a new sub. I missed it, I am terribly sorry. Mr. Pope, FM Pope. I'm not sure what that stands for, but thank you for the subscription nonetheless, and in celebration, we're gonna name this guy Pope. <laughs> uh, let's see. Actually, I was gonna, I was trying to think if there was a joke that went along with that, but there's not really. All right, Pope it is. FM Pope, the chicken invasion, then me. Oh, FM is an old clan, okay. <laughs> Cookies is not having much time for research or for cleaning. The tailoring is kind of taking it out of him, I think. So, Pope, what are your weapon skills again? A five and a ten on melee. Not a brawler, but is trigger happy. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you one of these bows here. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, let's do... Move, 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 move. Okay. Let's do the good bow. That's better. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, this is in the dark. I didn't realize that. I think we have enough excess power. We can probably go for a lamp in here. We finished machining. So next up is gunsmithing. You know, we should actually go for torch lamp in here because otherwise we're going to be uh, really pushing our limits as far as how much power we actually have. recruited the other person too. It is glorious. We are having a successful time. Okay, so Trogo is decently good at a lot of different things. So crafting, artistic, this might be a good person to put on crafting. Um, also acceptable at cooking and growing. So we're gonna take her and go grab a bow. And then we need to find a name for her. And that name is going to be, oh, it's a pyromaniac with a chemical interest and a fast learner. All right, should we do this one as plasma and give him the grenades? <laughs> um, let's see, let's, let's go with plasma on this one. That is an explosive combination and I think it fits. This is definitely Plasma. And I think with that recruitment, I am going to wrap it up, you fine folks. So let me make sure I've got everything set in an acceptable fashion. All of my things are taken care of. We're in a reasonably good place. Let's look at Plasma and just sort the work priorities first. And that way we won't have anything to do when we come back to this. So, uh, can't firefight because Pyro. So we're gonna need to go for bed rest and flick, then not warden, not handling, probably. Uh, ooh, this does give us an opportunity. Yeah, let's set plasma for handling animals because we don't have anyone on that yet. And then we could also do tailoring and then hauling and cleaning. Because I think we need another person on that. And right now, we're looking okay on plants cutting. Although, oh, growing is growing is doing fine. Growing is doing fine. Everything is growing as it should be. So we're fine. It's just hauling that is the problem. All right, cool. I think that is going to be it. Let me menu out. Save this son of a diddly. And we're going to save it as Clan Moon Moon. Yes, thank you very much. And that is going to wrap everything up for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like and share it with someone. If you want to support the channel, catch the streams, or join the Discord, check out the links in the description. Thank you all for being at least partially insane, and I will see you in the next one.